Decades ago, we settled on Fortuna 3, and for a while, this frontier world was paradise. We mined its vast resources in the shadow of ancient ruins. Then one day, the planet turned on us, with freak storms forcing us to evacuate the colony. With the surface lost, we set up base on Prospect Station, orbiting the deadly planet. It's where we trade, arm ourselves, gear up for the next drop. It's home. My name's Madam. I run things up here. So, you want to be a prospector. I've seen all types try their luck on the surface. Some are relentless, stopping at nothing and risking it all. Others are the more furtive sort, using stealth and caution to beat the odds. Many drop as a crew, sharing the loot, never leaving anyone behind. And of course, they're the hunters, preying on other prospectors and taking their haul. Skill might keep you alive, but you'll need more than that to thrive on Fortuna 3. In the end, Anything goes in the hunt for fame and fortune. Welcome to the frontier. Welcome back everybody. As you can see, today we're going to be talking about the cycle. I didn't give this game a chance because they changed the gameplay loop. It's been a couple of years since, so I figured it's time to give it a shot. The first thing I noticed upon landing is the visuals and the sound. Have a look and a listen. Fortuna 3. Well, a decent simulation of it anyways. What I also like is that you will never see a main menu. The hub is the main menu. As soon as you launch the game, you start playing. The creatures in this game are very tough, especially if they group up and gang up on you. So make sure you take them down along the way. You can take them down quietly with a knife, but it'll take some time. Or you can go guns blazing, but make sure you are ready for PvP. As I predicted, players tend to rush to noises, just like moths to light. All the glowy parts on creatures are their weak point. If you don't want to spend a lot of time and ammo on these creatures, make sure you shoot those.
There's also these little things. I call them hellhounds because they remind me of hunt hellhounds. They kind of move the same. They hit you and then jump back. Don't let them group up and gank you because you will die really fast. PvP is extremely unforgiving and very punishing, just like in Hunt and Tarkov, if you put your guard down, you will smash your keyboards. Fire. Just like in Tarkov, you have a hub, a, b a base to upgrade. Basically all those materials you're gathering, you'll have to bring them here and upgrade your base to get some better goodies, some cheaper repairs, you get some money every day, even some special currency. There are three different factions to level. Every faction has a different shop and progressing into it will offer you different options. And the way you progress is by questing. I like the questing in this game a lot. Compared to Tarkov where it feels like you're doing them over and over again and not even getting close to completing it, these ones, I found myself completing them as soon as I got them. I wouldn't recommend focusing on one faction at a time. All three factions have a lot of uses to upgrade your base, getting better guns, tools, attachments, craftables. When I drop down, I try to at least complete two or even three quests at a time before I extract back home. Here's an example of what you can expect in the shop. This is one of the factions that I personally like the guns in well this is it thanks everybody for watching i just wanted to showcase this game i really addicted since i started playing it again if you really liked the video leave a like and subscribe see you guys later